So this is the Huawei P40 Pro. It's a beautiful smartphone. I'm gonna say straight up, this is probably the best Android phone I've used so far in 2020, but there is a big but, and we'll get to that later on in this video. I also wanna say they've improved it in many ways. Camera's better, screen is better, everything is better. Like you hold this phone, it feels better in the hand than the previous P30 Pro. It's not as skinny or chiseled at the edges, so it just feels more comfortable in the hand. It's thicker, so there's more girth to it. Supports 5G in, in, in the Canadian market at least. And you have a more pixel dense display. This display has been bumped up to 6.58 inches. The resolution has increased to 2640 by 1200. And we finally get a 90 Hertz refresh rate. And it stays on at the highest resolution. You don't have to tone it down when you're at full HD like you do on the S20 Plus. Speaking of the S20 Plus, it kind of looks a bit like it. Like these bezels are almost just as thin on both of these devices. It has some design influences in the front facing camera taken from the S10. The front facing camera also happens to be 32 megapixels and it's paired with a depth sensor. So with that, you get some pretty good front facing photos. I actually did a couple of tests compared to the Galaxy S20 Plus and you guys let me know which one you think did a better job. The other thing I like about Huawei is that their 3D face or 3D face scan technology is one of the best on Android phones. It's a lot more accurate, it's pretty quick, and it's more secure than some of the other competing products. But if you don't wanna use that or keep it on for any specific reason, you could also use the in-display fingerprint scanner. Now speakers are interesting. You don't have dual speakers like you would on the S20 Plus with one on top and one on bottom. What Huawei's done is very similar to some of their previous devices is put one speaker on the bottom and then use the display as a second speaker. Now the big deal about Huawei phones is always the camera. This time they're bumping up the megapixel count to 50 for the wide lens, 40 for the ultra wide lens and you have a 12 megapixel telephoto lens. The beauty about this phone is you can zoom in up to 50 times using digital zoom. Is it any good? Absolutely not. It's just as bad or slightly better than the 100 times zoom that you'd find on the Galaxy Ultra. But I compared it to the S20 Plus at 10 times then I did it again at 30 times, and I do find the camera quality on this phone is better. This goes for most of the shots. Like this is a camera powerhouse. When it comes to like stills and photography, except for maybe the front facing camera, this phone usually outperformed the S20 Plus. The dynamic range is just better on this phone than it is on the other one. Now when it came to video, I still think the S20 has a slight edge. This phone can't shoot 8K, which is not a big deal. I think it's mostly a gimmick at this point, but when it comes to 4K or 1080p, video is still slightly better on the Galaxy S20. So right now we are doing a front facing video test. This is the Galaxy S20 Plus versus the Huawei P40 Pro. You guys let me know which one sounds the best, which one looks the best, and which one has the better stabilization. So let's do a little quick run test. Or more like jog test. Okay, out of breath. Let's slow it down. You do get a big battery at 4,200 milliamps and they have supercharge, which means you can top up this battery extremely fast. And if you don't want to do it using a physical cable, you have 27 watt wireless charging. That's a lot faster than other competing products. The other thing to note is the theming on this phone. This is MUI 10 and it's significantly better than previous versions. Like it's a lot cleaner. You can activate dark mode much better than what they've been doing before. Now you do have Wi-Fi 6 if that's important to you. And of course you have dual SIM capabilities depending on the market you're in. And as always, it comes with eight gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage and a nano SIM slot in case you want to increase it down the road. But here's the thing. It can have the best specs in the world. It can have the best camera in the world. It has an infrared scanner, which you don't see anymore. It can have everything you want, but it doesn't have 
the Google Play Store. I know there's some enthusiasts out there who like to spend their days sideloading apps and getting it onto their device, but Google's making it that much harder now. Like Google is blocking access to their services. So the days of easily sideloading the Play Store is no longer an option. You have to rely on App Gallery, which is Huawei's store. And to be quite honest, it's very sparse right now. I know they're investing a lot of money to get developers to create stuff. I know you can also download the Amazon store and install it on this, but usually you're getting some of those applications and they're not always updated as frequently as the apps or the equivalent apps on the Google Play Store. I know you can also clone your phone, which is another way to get the apps on there. But again, they will never get updated. So do you wanna sit there, have a second device in the background and continuously update your phone every time there's a new version available? I probably don't think you do. So anyways, that wraps up my little first look, first impressions, mini review of the Huawei P40 Pro. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. That rhymed. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.